In today's tutorial, we're going to model uh, one iconic uh, building in uh, the history of architecture. You probably know about this. Uh, it's called Barcelona Pavilion, and it was designed by uh, Ludwig Mies van der Rohe. Uh, this was uh, the German pavilion for the uh, 1920 and uh, 19 International Expo uh, Exposition uh, in Barcelona, in Spain. And uh, the, the actual model is not very complex to model, but I just wanted to show you the some of the principles uh, when modeling like straight geometry only and how you can be very efficient in it. Uh, we will use this base plans and we'll model based on them. So uh, we'll also actually uh, divide like the floors and I'll show you how you can actually have this kind of effects uh, that you can see the seams of the of the floor. So let's start. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna import uh, this drawing into my viewport. And once once I'm uh, 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 once I'm here, I will actually cut it with uh, helper lines. So like so. Uh, let's do the split command, and let's split this drawing into two sections like this. Uh, and I'll use this for later. So right now, uh, let's uh, let's just start drawing on top of this. So uh, first thing that uh, we want to do is basically uh, draw the walls. So I'm gonna let me just I'll go here into material and let's change the transparency to be a little bit more transparent and let's do the lock. This way we can see what we're doing here on the top. So I'm gonna go to the top and I will start drawing. So um, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, create these walls. So let's do the rectangle. And we're just gonna trace over this. So once I know the thickness of the wall, I'll just use the same, the same uh, geometry, the same shape and extend it like this. Uh, let's do it here also. Let's do the scale 1D until there. Let's drop it up here. Let's do the scale 1D again. Like so. And let's do one more and let's flip it for 90 degrees like so. Let's go there. And now what we can do, we can use curve boolean here and use the insides only and now we have the clean geometry there so we don't need the rest that's right so we have this wall we have these two walls let's continue so i'm gonna input this one here as the scale 1d bring it there and we're gonna do the same here so once we have this uh we should be probably doing uh, the the height as well so let's let's cut a little bit here so I'm gonna use this line here with this one here and let's split this drawing again so now I have this guy there let's align it and let's go to perspective and let's flip it 90 degrees. Let's go to the side view and let's position it correctly. So it's exactly where it's supposed to be. This is the point. There it is. So, so now I know uh, what the height should be. I'm gonna use these guys as my 
references I'm gonna go to the side view and I'm gonna extrude up till there and now uh, you can see I have my walls I have my walls there uh, the next thing would be to create uh, this inner walls inside so let's do those as well uh, these will be probably glass walls I think so let's just move them like this I'm gonna do scale 1D till there I'm gonna do the same one on the bottom like so and I'm gonna do this one 90 let's do one more time and I think that should be it and now what we can do is because we know that these let's change this layer to let's say glass and let's move the color to white so that I know what the blue so let so I know which ones are supposed to be from the glass change layer and this one also I think yeah there you go uh, we need to create the the swimming pool as well and these benches so uh, let's do that as well so let me just check the images just to make sure that we're doing everything right so this is the glass window from the yeah so but this should be the glass window here so very cool trick if you want to move this this layer to be the same you can use command match properties and you just say give me all these uh all these values from this guy here then you click ok it's the same here i can see so uh the next thing would be to create uh let's create the the roofs so uh, in this case I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this guy here let's change the layer back to the default one I'm gonna use these two and I'm gonna copy them I'm gonna use this spot here to move it down like so so as you can see here we have the the roof here let's go to the perspective let's do set point let's go to the Z and let's do let's go to the side view and let's do extrude curve and let's finish it off like this but uh, we can also do the swing pull let's do the swing pull let's go from here to here uh, if you go to the side view you can see here that it has depth so this will be the depth of the swimming pool and uh, we also need to create the actual outline of all of this uh, just quickly trace over this lines here <laughs> And that should be it. And let's just modify it quickly here. Let's change these values to the Y and let's bring them up here like so. Okay. And once we have this, <clears throat> as you can see, some of them are snapped in a different positions. You can just use set point and bring it to Z and have it all straight. Easy as that. So let's do planar surface and now we can actually create the surface. Let's go to the side view. Let's bring it down until there like so. And uh, what else we can do? We can create stairs. Okay. 
So that should be it. Again, when you see this happen, just bring it down with set point. And now let's isolate these guys here. And let's do, uh, let's first cut it. Let's do boolean split. And now I can do blade these guys only. I'm gonna unlock this so I can hide it as well. There you go. Delete this. Let's go to the side view. Uh, let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the simple trick. Let's divide this in seven. And that's how we cut it. Okay, let's go to the perspective. Let's extrude these guys. And let's do boolean split of this guy with these lines here. So there you go. That's our stairs. So first let's hide the surface and this one. So we can just quickly delete these guys now. Okay, it seems I missed something here, but you get the idea of what I wanted to do here. Um, uh, the last thing here would be to do the Boolean difference. So we have this pull there on the side. And um, also I wanted to show you how you can uh, basically divide this, this surface. So as you can see here, we have uh, we have the division already. So let's isolate this guy and this guy only. So if you want to have this kind of um, floor divisions, uh, what you can do here is uh, basically create the grid. So let's create a simple grid. Uh, let's go with this dimension here. And let's increase it like so. And now let's copy it. First, let's copy it in these places where we know that it's supposed to, br to break, like so. Here also. All right, so we have these horizontal divisions and now we need to do the to flip them so we copy them flip them 90 degrees and let's bring them in like so and let's slightly modify if you think that something needs to be modified again this is not 100% uh, precise drawing so that's why some of these lines are not um, where they're supposed to be, but when you're doing with your projects, uh, you should always uh, look to have uh, the proper the proper uh, distance, and uh, just eyeball it like I'm doing it here. So I will do now this for the rest, and let's see what happens next. Okay, so let's say that this is uh, our grid. So once, we, so so uh, so once we have this, uh, once we have this grid, uh, what we need to do is actually isolate this surface. We're gonna say extract surface, and we're gonna isolate this guy and these guys here. And what we're gonna do here is basically go to the top view, do the project command, select surfaces on the bottom, and now we have those guys there. We don't need this anymore. Let's delete them or put them on another layer. And uh, the, in, in order to, to divide this geometry, you just need to do, let's select curves. Let's do, so let's extrude these guys on the bottom just a tiny bit, like so. 
uh, or we also want to actually uh, connect the surface. So uh, we actually want to connect all of these guys together. So let's uh, let's do the join command and let's see if it's all one. Yeah, it is. Okay. So once once we have these extrusions, we're gonna say select extrusion, and we're going to say uh, offset surface. We're gonna say both sides, and we're gonna say distance of 0 0.005, and we're gonna say enter. Once we have these guys, we'll group them, and we'll say boolean difference, and we're gonna select all of them now. Although, and let's see the magic happening right now. So now it's calculating and it should actually uh, subtract all those uh, lines that we just created. All right, so it's finished and here's the result. So this way you will have these panels and they will see, they will appear very good in the rendering. So that's what I wanted to show you. Let's unhide everything. Let's hide this and um, uh, that should be it for this tutorial uh, i'll just quickly render this this uh, geometry now and show you the final result uh, we didn't actually do a lot of detailing because it would it would take a little more time but uh, that's basically the principle that i would use to model this kind of project here is the final rendering uh, barcelona pavilion by ludwig mis van der Rohe. Uh, if you like this kind of tutorials and if you have any questions or comments, please share with your friends, somebody who can benefit from this and uh, see you in the next one.